In this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly in Fusion 360 model a threaded hole for a bolt and when to use that versus a metal insert and how I use the different types of, of inserts you, that are available to you for uh, connecting a bolt and a nut to each other inside a plastic part or to connect two parts together and why to do what when and where to do that so for instance this is a bracket uh, i made to connect uh to hold a uh, a light an led uh, tube light t8 tube light uh to a frame for that i use in film production and i was experimenting with sort of mechanisms and compliant designs to see if I could make a semi-locking mechanism or a kind of quick release version of this just because uh, I thought it would be fun. And I use a lot of metal hardware, mostly bolts and, uh, and inserts. In Fusion 360, it's incredibly easy to make a threaded hole. So all you need to do is create the hole and here's some examples of ones I had already made. You select the wall of the hole. You go up to create. And then there's right under here is uh, the action thread. And you have to click turn on the radio button modeled. And it will instantly make that uh, model, that threading in your model. And it'll default to the closest size that suits the hole. So a five millimeter hole is an M for an M5 bolt. Um, you can even choose the direction it goes, but this is the standard configuration of most bolts. And if you realize you picked the wrong size hole, you can always change it and it'll push out the, the solid part of the model to accommodate that hole. And then it's done. And if you realize you made a mistake, you can go down to the timeline and double click on the event and change it. Let's say put it back down to five. And, or if you decide you didn't want it, you can delete it. By selecting it in the timeline, hit the delete button and it's gone. You'll notice that what I did is on these ones, I modeled the hole quite long, always longer than the bolt needs. Because the one thing about doing this is that it's easy to strip, strip them. And if the bolt goes in and starts hitting a, hitting a surface that it can't get past, it'll start turning in place and then it'll strip your work. So I only tend to do this on parts which I don't really intend to take apart that often. Um, where once I screw it together, I don't intend to unscrew it unless it's to fix or replace the part that's actually broken, which is, you know, this modeled hole. Um, and also the longer the bolt, the longer the, the threaded hole, the more surface area is connecting with that bolt, the stronger the connection, the mechanical bond is going to be between the two parts. So I also tend to do it with longer bolts. And if I have a really short profile uh, to fit something in like here, I will use a metal insert instead because it's, it's got a lot more strength to it. Um, I also use metal inserts mostly because I want the mechanical bond to be stronger where I'm sandwiching the plastic together. Um, the other reason why I will use hardware like this is to physically um, increase the strength of the part in a spot where a piece of metal would be much more resistant to um, wear and tear than if it was plastic. These ones I tend to use, these inserts are much longer and they can go in much larger parts. I tend to use them for something where I need uh, the bolt to hold, to hold in place and be resistant to being torqued or, or twisted. So for instance, this bracket right here I'll even put a washer under it so it's got more surface area when it's being pulled on and it's distributing the, um, the forces on it over a larger area because the plastic is still just plastic. 
it's not going to do the same thing that a metal uh, piece of metal version of this would do and then with the nuts I tend to use the nuts if I'm if I'm uh, if I'm using something that needs a lot of strength and I'm going to take it in and out a lot because the thing about the uh, the nut most nuts they're made out of the same material as the as the bolts whereas these are brass and these are steel so steel is going to the brass is going to wear down before the steel does another factor that's important to know is that uh, nothing including hardware that's been manufactured in metal is identical so even these are here's some bolts and they're all m5 bolts but you notice they'll all measure the different diameters even though they're this from the maybe even from the same manufacturing batch they're all slightly different sizes so you have to accommodate for those tolerances as well and when things go to print if I show you what it looks like when I print this model you'll notice that uh, as I show you the layers here you can see how the modeled um, threaded hole is being printed by how it's it's kind of oscillating there over here right here and uh, so it does a pretty good job of modeling it but you have to be careful about where you put the hole because you need enough material around it like this is only a two layer perimeter uh, you know quick quick um, print so there isn't a lot of material between the where the bolt is going to touch the plastic and where the plastic ends um, and in this case over here for instance on this hole I probably should have put the hole further away from the edge because even if I did a perimeter of five layers right here at this particular point it's never gonna it's oscillating between two and one layers so there's one layer two layers one layer two layers so it's it's pretty thin as far as uh, uh, just the distance between the hole and the edge of this plastic so even if this was a five layer print on the ex on the perimeter this would still be pretty thin I should have moved the hole over a bit just to give it more material to bite into just in case something happens same thing over here and over here these are the heads of the bolts that uh, are going the top half but this is not this isn't doing anything mechanical this is actually in this design just covering it up um, and keeping the part the two the top and bottom halves together like this this lines up with this hole and this part lines up with with this hole over here to connect together and that's it